My neighbour Jack and his friend Theo were out snorkelling looking for fossils, a new way of doing it. Um, while doing so, they came across this wreck, and I thought I'd better go and have a look myself. I was given directions by Jack as to the location, and I slowly made my way out there uh, with the help of some little friends following me on the way. The first thing I came across was what looked like parts of a winch. Uh, I dove down and found that it was made out of metal. I then came across these bits of wood sticking out of the sand and I knew I was in the right place. I followed the fish and then I started seeing this. I got really excited at this point. This was amazing. Huge timbers sticking out of the sand. The fish were actually in the way a little bit. So I ended up going round again just to get a better view after they cleared. You can see how the sand has shifted, exposing more of the timbers. The weed on the end there was probably the only bits that were shown before. And I'm wondering how much more of this craft is under the sand. From this angle you can see how large some of the timbers are. And in total, this vessel I think was larger than 30 foot. I've spearfished this area on numerous occasions and I've never come across anything like this. It just makes me wonder what else is actually out there. Binnell Bay was known for spindless folly, a seawall that was eventually destroyed by bad weather. Was this perhaps a dumb barge that was delivering materials? Or was it a smuggler's boat that ran aground on a stormy night?